Travel back in time with a trip inside the Iowa's News Now vault. For Marta Turchka's family, Saturday afternoon means a trolley ride downtown. But Cedar Rapids Transit Director Bill Hoekstra says there aren't enough families like the Turchkas, simply not enough riders to keep Saturday service on track. I realize this is a small piece of the, of the pie, but, you know, again, small, sm small reductions here and there help us to keep, continue to have run a balanced program. Hoekstra says a 55-week survey of trolley service shows an average of only 21 riders on Saturday and seven Saturdays with no riders at all. But after receiving a petition signed mostly by drivers, transit officials postponed the cut, granting a five-week period to test for improved ridership. Hoekstra says the results of the test period will likely mean the end of Saturday trolley service. Many riders say that's unfortunate because it's the only time when they can enjoy this piece of Cedar Rapids nostalgia. This is something special for families and for kids to realize, and there's history in here, and it doesn't need to be taken away. There's got to be some funding someplace else. Uh, I really wouldn't uh, like to see it happen. Uh, there's, you know, like I said earlier, there's a lot of the uh, people downtown that uh, uh, rely on the trolley that can get from uh, one location to another. Hoekstra says the trolleys were bought for the city's economic benefit and promotion. He says the cuts would free up two trolleys for private chartering and no drivers would lose their jobs. Nobody's going to lose any hours from working, uh, none of the part-time or the full-time, and we know we can increase the revenues with them. The fate of Saturday trolley service will ultimately be determined after a public hearing September 16th. John Miller, Channel 2 News, Cedar Rapids.